If you are a scrum team that is struggling with your daily standups, then today's video is going to be discussing how to make your daily standups better. This is going to work for teams that are in person, hybrid, or 100% remote. But the gist is, if you're struggling, and if your standups just don't feel like they're 100% there, like if you feel like there's some conflict, some challenges, some friction, and you just want to make your standups better, maybe your team is going way beyond their time, maybe your team is coming unprepared to the standups, or maybe it just feels like a status meeting, which it's not supposed to feel like one, then maybe you just wanna make your standups better. Well, today's video, we're gonna be discussing an opportunity, a new app that has been made by my good friends over at Resolution, as this video is sponsored by Resolution. And we're gonna be discussing their Not Another Standup App, or NASA for short. Now, this app is completely new to the marketplace, and you're gonna be looking at an exclusive first look at this brand new and exciting app that I guarantee you, if you start using it, is going to make your standups much, much better. So again, if you've been struggling with these standups and you've been trying to find an answer, this video is the one you've been looking for. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Drop a like if you get value out of this video. And don't forget to check out the links down below as I'm going to have a link to the Marketplace vendor, Resolution, and they're not another standup app link. Also, make sure you check out the discount codes, and most importantly, I'm going to link documentation and other helpful materials that you can use in order to take your standups to the next level. Let's jump into Jira, and let's talk about not another standup app. Don't wanna sleep in, cause I got something to prove. I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move. Right, so here we are inside of Jira. I've already gone ahead and installed the NASA app or not another standup app. And once you do install it, you will be able to come in here, click on here, and then we're gonna start with the configurations. Now the configurations are very, very easy, and I'm gonna quickly walk you through it. Again, down below is the video. You're gonna go, wanna watch that one if you wanna get the in-depth on what everything does and what it's for. But I really wanna start focusing, get through the configuration so I can focus on the problem at hand, right? Why are standups why are our standups not working as ideal as they can? And what can we do? What steps can we as Scrum Masters take to make our standups a little bit better? And I wanna show you the exciting things that this app can do to help deliver on that promise. So the first thing you wanna do when you are configuring this app is you're gonna to wanna to pick a board. So these are gonna be all your Scrum boards and Kanban boards as well. This will work for Kanban or Scrum, but obviously if you're a Scrum team, you're more likely going to be doing the daily Scrum. And so I'm going to just pick a scrum board because it is configured already. That team is most likely going to be following the scrum methodology. Once you have your board, you're going to be able to give it a name so you can be clever here. I'm not very clever, so I'm going to take the default. And then again, if you're very creative, you can come in and change your logo. Once you do that, you click on next, and then we're going to pick which issues should we suggest. So this is the application itself on the right hand side. We'll see it when we jump into the app on the right hand side, there's a section where the tool is gonna to recommend issues for you and your team to be looking at. And so we're gonna determine the criteria for that. And you have a couple of different items. You can pick by priority, by issue type, by status, or by a specific Jira issue filter. Now I'm gonna pick priority, and I'm just gonna bring everything in here that is highest, high, medium, uh, critical, and major. I'm gonna intentionally leave out low and lowest because probability is those issues are not gonna to be top of mind, and those issues shouldn't be wasting valuable calories and time during your daily scrum until they become an issue that is worth working on. So I'm gonna leave those out for now, just so that my team's always laser focused on working on the most important work at all times. So we're gonna do that there, and then we're gonna click on next. Again, you wanna go and figure this out, what's important for you? Maybe you just wanna look at bugs. Maybe you wanna look at a very specific issue tech. Maybe you want your team to just talk about stories. Maybe you want them to just talk about bugs. Maybe you just wanna talk about the high priority items, right? So it's up to you, whatever works for you and your team, but you're gonna be able to just fine tune those suggested issues there so that whatever is important to you and your team is gonna to be top of mind for everybody. So very, very clever uh, functionality there. Now, next, we're gonna set up the Scrum Master. So ideally you wanna have one Scrum Master per team and after that, you can have backups, right? Because if your Scrum Master goes on vacation, um, PTO, health, right, whatever it may be, you always wanna have somebody else, some backup, right, to be able to 
fill in and be a backup Scrum Master. Because when we start using the app, you're going to see that there's different views. There's views for the users and there's views for the Scrum Master. It's always a good idea to have a backup, but don't worry if you don't have a backup, it's not a big problem, but it's good to have your backup there. And then select your main participants. Now these are gonna be the users that are gonna be in this stream. So now let me take a little step back because I kind of just jumped into it and I didn't explain what I'm doing fully. So what I'm doing right now is I am configuring what's called a stream. Think of this as a team, as a scrum team, okay? And I'm basically setting up, okay, for this team, again, they, they call it a stream inside the application, but for this stream team, if you will, who, who's the scrum master? Who are the participants? What board are they working out of in Jira? And what issues are important for them, right? So we basically covered this up already. Now, what you're gonna wanna do as the administrator is once you set up that stream, I'm willing to bet you're gonna have multiple teams, right? Multiple streams that you're gonna to wanna to then configure as well because this app is a global app, right? It's not just restricted to one team. You're gonna to wanna to set it up for all the various teams that are using Jira and in your company, again, depending on the size, might be two teams, might be three teams, might be a 50 teams, might be a 100 teams, right? So you're gonna to wanna to do this over and over so that each team has their own stream and then it's gonna be personalized and customized just for their specific needs. So right now we're just doing the very first one, which when you set it up for the very first time, it doesn't show you the word stream, but just keep in mind we're making streams because later I'll show you once we finish setting up this stream, you're gonna be able to come in and add more streams for, again for those various teams. So anyways, so you're gonna to wanna to pick this. I don't, again, my juror is just a team of one, so I don't have anybody else, but here you would put anybody else and then pick your participants again, team of one, no other people, but you're gonna to wanna to pick the right users here. Click on the next button. And then this is where you can modify the questions. So a traditional scrum is usually, what did I do yesterday? What am I doing today? And any blockers or impediments that I may have. And as you can see, these are the default ones here. Now you could alter these, so you can click the little X button here. You can move the order of them as well. You can also type into them and change the text up. Or you can even add your own questions if you want to, and just simply add whatever you and your team are working on already. So you don't have to change your current process in order to adapt the tool. The tool is going to adapt to your process. So very, very flexible there. Big, big kudos, big, big brownie points. This is gonna make teams uh, be not having to, again, conform to the tool. So the tool is gonna help conform to their process. So really, really good here. I'm just gonna leave the defaults though because in all the scrums that I've ever ran, and I've probably been in a thousand scrum meetings by now, uh, these are the three questions we always ask. I'm just gonna leave those there. So I'm gonna click next. So Monday through Friday are gonna be the dates that we're gonna be using. And then you wanna be very specific with your time. This is gonna be very critical because one of the key features of this app is that and one of the main problems we're trying to solve, and I've seen this so many times, folks, I just mentioned a moment ago, I've been in probably a thousand different scrum meetings over my career. And one of the biggest problems is these scrum meetings tend to go from the 15 minute golden rule type of situation that the scrum teams made for us, the scrum gods, if you will. And they tend to go longer. They tend to go to 20 minutes and then 30 minutes and then an hour. And before you know it, it's like a whole day affair. And so one of the things that this app tries to help us with is trying to be more consistent with that time box. And it's go I'm gonna show you when we jump into it, how it helps us with that. So make sure you're picking the right accurate time so that we're able to get good metrics back out of the tool. So I'm gonna leave 9 a.m. because again, team of one, I don't have a scrum here per se, but you're gonna wanna pick the right time for you. Click on finish, next. And then over here, um, we're just gonna leave that duration, right? So again, don't worry, this is just an orientation. We're not gonna cut anybody off, but this is where you're gonna put, is it a 15 minute scrum? Is it five minutes, right? You could also do per user, which I really, really like, right? So depending on the team that you have, if you only have three people, well, that means they can each go for five minutes. But if you have 10 people, then you're gonna wanna you know, scale your time down. And so you can pick different times here. So you can do five minutes per user, so on and so forth, right? I'm gonna do total time though, because the scrum, I don't really care that we have like, you know, 50 people or 100 people, it's 15 minutes, talk faster. <laughs> That's my rule, right? And then I'm gonna hit finish. And at this point, we're 100% set up, completed for this stream, and we're good here. As you can see here, these are the streams, right? We're gonna be able to click on add new stream over here if you have more teams that you have to go do this for. And in this streams overview, this is where you're gonna see like a dashboard of all of those different streams and all those configurations that we just did. 
and you're going to be able to modify them from there. All right. So that takes care of the streams, right? So now that you've made your stream, now that we have this data, now it's time to actually use the app. Now we're going to be looking at this from two different perspectives. We're going to be looking at this from the scrum master side of the house, and we're going to be looking at this from the end user side of the house. And so we're going to start with the end user because one of the problems that we're also solving with this app is that, and again, thousands of scrum meetings that I've been in, and this is a very common problem. Most people, because it becomes a natural me muscle memory, right? We just, we go into the motion of, Hey, every single day that I go to work, we're going to have a daily scrum. And so most of the time, and if you're like me, you're figuring out as you're crossing through the door, right? As you're entering the meeting, or even worse yet, as other people are talking, you're trying to figure out, hmm, what did I work on yesterday? And what do I plan on working on today? So on the spot, you're having to come up with the, what words you're gonna use. And that is, that tends to lead over my experience, it tends to lead to more uncoordinated chaos, right? Because the teams are not as organized. Folks are kind of just like, oh, I think I'm gonna do this one. I think I'm gonna do that. And so this is where teams tend to kind of take a step back in their discipline and they tend to struggle, right? So this is again, a good area where teams struggle with the daily scrum because people are just kind of figuring it out as it's happening. And so one of the cool things that this app tries to do is it gives you an opportunity as a user to preemptively go in and go, hmm, what do I wanna work on? And this is gonna work out really, really well for those hybrid and remote teams because at any point in the day, you're gonna be able to come in and kind of set things up accordingly so that you can run through them during your daily scrum. Now, in-person teams, you're still gonna be able to do this, right? But you're gonna to wanna to do this before you start walking over to your meeting because you're not gonna to wanna to be able to do this while you're actually standing up inside your standup, right? So let's go take a look at what that looks like. So when we go to my update over here on the left-hand side, and when you go to my update, this is where you as the individual, right? I'm putting on my user hat on right now. And this is where you're gonna be able to come in and look at all the issues that are being recommended to you by the app. So on the right hand side, you're gonna be able to see the issues that are suggested to you. Again, these are gonna show up based on those recommendations, based on those configurations that your admin did. You do have the ability to create issues here. So in case you're not seeing something, but you're working on it, but it hasn't made it into Jira yet, you have the ability to click on this create issue here and basically fill it out. One thing about the suggested issues that I definitely want you to be aware of is that because you are under my update, this is very unique to you. And that means that if you are not seeing suggested issues pop up, they are not assigned to you. And so for this to work correctly, and I think this is a pretty clever idea, the issues, whatever those stories, bugs, subtasks they are, they must be assigned to you first, and they also have to meet the qualifications for that suggested issue criteria that we talked about earlier. So once they're there, now you're gonna be able to bring them in to your, what was done yesterday, what are you doing today, and any impediments by clicking on the little plus button here. But what you're essentially gonna to wanna to do is, for your what was done yesterday, you're gonna be able to come over here and say, let's just assume that this actually says something of importance and go, oh, I worked on this one yesterday, right? This story is the one that I was working on. This is basically something I wanna highlight and tell my team that I worked on this one yesterday, right? Cause this is what was done yesterday. So all you gotta do is click on the plus sign here and it's gonna move it over to the left-hand side. And you can also do fill-ins, right? So if you worked on something else that wasn't a story, wasn't captured in Jira already, you can either create a new issue for it or you can add a text item here and say, I went to the bank, right? And then you can convert this text item into a Jira issue. So it works either way, or you can just fill it in, right? So if you are working on stuff that don't necessarily need to be in Jira, you have those options, right? You can just leave the text item here, went to bank, hit the check mark, and you have it in there, right? It's not gonna be a Jira issue, it's not gonna be tracked in Jira, it's not gonna be in your backlog, your sprints and whatnot, but it's something that you did, right? So if you invested a good amount of calories, a good amount of time, it's good for you to articulate that to your team to manage the expectations. But best rule of thumb is everything you're working on should be in Jira already because if it's not, then why are you working on it, right? When you're in here preparing for what has been done, what are you gonna work on today and any impediments, another cool little feature that I like is that there is this little bubble right here and if you click on it, this allows you to create a comment. So you can just add a comment of like, I was out sick. Right, so for whatever reason, whatever comment you wanna add, again, adding context. Now, if you add a comment that is valuable, right? Like, I am blocked on something, 
right? And this is something that you want to continue to capture. We can add this comment to Jira as well. So you don't just need to like add a comment within the NASA app, but you can also push that comment into Jira. So if I click the little check mark here, this is going to go into Jira. So now if I open up SSP-9, down here you can see that a comment was indeed added. So you get to pick whether the comment is just visible within the NASA app, or if you also want that comment to be pushed into Jira. So that's your what was done yesterday. When you're done with that, you're gonna be able to click on your next, and then you're gonna do what are you gonna work on today? So today I'm gonna to work on issue two and issue three, and you can add those there. And then you can go to your next and go, do I have any blockers? And I'm gonna say, you know what, just for this demo sake, this story four is being blocked. So once you do that, you hit next, and that's essentially going to create your summary for that particular day. You can set your mood, right? So you can be able to pick on these and go, yeah, I'm happy, it's looking good. And then you're gonna be able to enter your meeting lobby down here. And what it's essentially doing, right, is every individual, every team member in this stream is gonna be able to go in and do this daily and set up their information for that day based on how they, you know, their realities, right? What, what they actually worked on, what are they gonna work on and so on. And once you do that, then the Scrum Master is gonna be able to see everything, which we're gonna show you when we switch over to the Scrum Master view. But this is essentially, as a user, what you're gonna be doing every day. And I, this is, again, why I like this, because from an asynchrony perspective, right, if you have team members that are in different time zones, or maybe just not everybody has the ability to always be together, maybe somebody's on vacation, maybe somebody's gonna be away, right, they can preemptively come in here and kind of let everybody know. Because unlike in Jira, where you got to update a bunch of statuses and make sure everything's being in the right column and so on and so forth, this is a really neat, clear way of just saying, hey, here's everything that we're doing, right? Because your what it was done yesterday, what has to be done, and your blockers aren't very easy to identify in Jira, right? You got to kind of read in between the statuses to figure that out. But here it's very clear, right? It's cut and dry. You clearly know what you did yesterday, what you're going to do today, and any blockers. So do that, enter that meeting lobby. And essentially, this is going to be ready for your team. You're essentially just waiting for the stand-up to actually start. So that's the um, that's the user view. Let's quickly talk about some of the settings that you want to be aware of. So these settings are for the stream, and so you can come in here and change the board that's going to be associated, the name of the team or the stream, right? So you can make some changes to the suggested issues and whatnot. But one key thing that I want you to be aware of is on the notification side. Here, you're able to set up reminders to a specific Slack channel. And so maybe a few minutes before the meeting starts, right? You get to pick 10, 15, 20, whatever you want here. You can do this integration here that will send a message over to a specific Slack channel, giving you a notification, a reminder, if you will, to let you know that it is gonna be time for your standup. Because we've all been there before where we get distracted and then we forget. You end up walking in super late, and again, we're trying to build efficiency here with our standup, right? We want to be as efficient as possible, and being there on time, probably one of the most critical things to be successful with the rest of the standup. So let's go and pretend that we're going to be in a Scrum Master mode, right? So in the Scrum Master mode, we're gonna come in, and only the Scrum Masters, right? Only the individuals that you specify as Scrum Masters are gonna be able to, to start doing some of the Scrum Master actions, right? So we'll kind of walk you through that. But now we're going to put on our Scrum Master hat and we're going to essentially run our daily Scrum. So let me walk you through the interface here because this is actually really fun and really interesting. And again, my demo is not going to do it justice because again, I'm a team of one, but I'm going to kind of walk you through it and try to articulate so you can visualize this as best as possible. But this is your daily Scrum. And so up here, the moment you go in, you're going to start your timer, right? So if you're having any... Uh, water cooler talk, as they say, right? Uh, make sure that the moment you're ready to go in there, we're ready to get down to the brass tacks because that timer is going to start immediately, right? It doesn't wait for people to kind of start paying attention, right? It's going to go, you can pause it, you can stop it, you can play it, but keep in mind that the moment you click that start scrum, it's going to start, right? And so what's going to happen here is you're going to have this play button and you're going to be able to go through it, right? And it's basically taking time of here we are in our scrum. So you can see how this thing's gonna populate across the board. Now, what you'll do, right, is you're gonna have each individual and you're gonna say, hey, here's Alex, here's what he did yesterday, here's what's gonna be worked on today, and here are the blockers, right? And then down here, you can essentially click on this arrow and for every member of that team, you're gonna be able to page through them, right? And then this tool is going to keep track of like, okay, it took us a minute here, took us two minutes for this person, 
four minutes for that person and whatnot, right? So it's kind of tracking that information for us as well. Now, one cool thing is you can, again, pause it. You, when you're done, you can stop it. But one really, really neat feature, right, is this concept of impediments. I want to show you a couple of things that you can do here. Number one, when each individual is talking about that issue, right, um, when, it, when somebody goes up to bat, as you will, right, and they start talking about, hey, this is what, this is what I'm going to be working on today, right? Well, if people agree, right, if people are like, hey, this is cool, this is awesome, or maybe they're confused, they can click on this emoji here, and they're going to be able to drop in an emoji and essentially kind of help express themselves a little bit more clearly and we're going to see how that works out at the end but your whole team can come in here because you're going to want everybody to either be a looking at the screen if you're sharing or everybody can come into the room itself into this stand-up meeting room and kind of follow along on their computers so everybody can go and drop those emojis there one of the coolest things that i think that you can do in this particular view that i really really like is this concept of these blockers right when somebody needs to follow up one of the drawbacks i think of the daily scrum is that it is very fast right so it's very surface level you don't have the time you don't have the luxury to go deeper into something but most of the time at least technical teams right you're not working on trivial things you're working on things that require a lot of brain power but because your time is so limited you can't like pause the conversation and go down this rabbit hole right you you want to be mindful and respectful of the rules of the scrum meeting and essentially table things. And so what you can do here is to table things, all you gotta do is click on the little flag and it's gonna put it up over here. So if we wanna have follow-up conversations, we simply click on that little flag and it's gonna move it on over for us. And so when you're done, right, once you go through each person, you're gonna be clicking on this arrow again. For you, it's gonna change to the next person, but for me, it's not, right? Once you're done with your scrum, then all you gotta do is hit the stop button and then this is what's gonna give you, right? You're gonna get your fast stand-up, right? It's gonna give you some feedback for the issues that got a lot of reactions, that got a lot of emojis coming at it because people were excited or confused or wanted to know more, right? That's gonna show up for you as well. And then these issues for follow-up are gonna be very, very critical because these are gonna be the items that we wanna go and talk about after. So at this point, we have finished the meeting and we are now gonna be able to go into our team journal. And so our team journal here is basically the synopsis, right? Here's the meeting date, here's how long it took, and when I go to the previous meeting, I can basically just go back in time and see all the historical information. So I can see when my last meeting was, which was the 28th, and then I can go to the next meeting. This app is going to remember all your different stand-ups, so you can always go back in time. This is a really, really cool feature as well, because when we do these in-persons or non-recorded stand-ups, it's in the heat of that moment, right? It's in that 15 minutes, that's all that happened, and anybody who walks away from there and depending on their memory they may forget they might remember right but that moment has happened but with the nasa app there's not another stand-up app you are able to preserve that history so you can always go back in time and go hey what did we talk about what was discussed what, what were the follows right so you can always keep track of that history and you can always be looking and seeing what was mentioned before because i trust me when i tell you there will be a moment where you're gonna have to pull this historical information up as a CYA, if you will. Essentially, you look at how many people participated, did you meet your goals, right, specifically with like your time, and then how many issues were uh, resolved. And so we have the follow-up items here, which now as a Scrum Master, I can go and follow up. It's very, very easy for me to remember where these were at, and so I can follow up with them. We can also do the team updates over here, so you're gonna see a summary of every single individual. Again, mine only has one, but you're gonna be able to see everything that everybody talked about and what they were discussing. And so it's a really, really cool team journal here that, again, you're gonna be able to page through and take a look at and, and maybe collect data, right? Collect metrics and information so you can get all this information here. So that team journal is really, really cool. Now, the final piece that I wanna talk about before ending this video is the My Overview, right? So this is, again, now bringing it back to the user, this individual will see how many issues they're working on and, and what's left, right? So how many of the goals, how many issues are done, your stand-up participation, right? How active are you in the participation? And then that's it. So that's basically the stand-up app. As you can see, this is going to take your stand-up to the next level. It gives you way more context than a traditional stand-up. One of the really bad drawbacks of running a daily stand-up is that it's all vocal, right? You can't, unless you're doing like a asynchronous one, like on Slack or something like that, you're not really focusing on taking the notes, right? Because it's just happening so fast. But here you can kind of 
let the tool be a little bit more leisure for you and then you can follow up a lot easier in the tool and it's just going to elevate your standards to the next level so if you're struggling with your standards right if standards are just not working for you if you're just not feeling it 100 i recommend go try this stand up out you get a free 30-day trial use the link down below so you can go start your trial and a special thanks to my good friends over at resolution for sponsoring this video happy launch i'm very very excited to roll this out and see all the various teams from across the world use this app and again i really think this is something that if you haven't considered using an app during your stand-ups and you're struggling with them this is something you're going to want to do and even if you're not struggling with your stand-ups even if your stand-ups are going well this is still going to augment and complement your already great stand-up so go give the app a try and show my good friends over at Resolution some love. That's it for this video. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one. So far